In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use your iPod as a storage drive device. Now this can really be helpful especially if you're looking to transfer a lot of information from one computer to another or you just want to use your iPod as a backup storage device. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is to connect your iPod to your computer. So you're going to need your USB iPod sync cable. Connect it like you normally do to your computer. Open up iTunes. When iTunes is open, make sure to click under Devices. It should show the name of your iPod and the type of iPod that you connected. Just click on it and it should open up this screen with all the information, the specs of the iPod. Next thing you have to do is to scroll down and make sure to check off Enable Disk Use, just like I'm doing here. And that's it. Now you just minimize iTunes. Open up Computer or My Computer. You should see the drive for the iPod. Double click, open it up. Now all you have to do is basically locate the data that you want to transfer to the iPod and manually drag and drop. So for example, I have an Excel file here. Just hold down the left click on the mouse, manually drag and drop. And just like that. Now this particular file is now stored on the iPod. So now you can take the iPod, go to another computer, transfer it again to the other computer or just keep it on there. And that's basically it. That's all you have to do. So I hope you found this video useful to you. If you have and you would like to see more videos like this in the future, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments and rate this video. And thank you for tuning in.